The gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, the decision before us today is clear. Either we choose to do the job the American people elected us to do and vote for a good bipartisan, bicameral bill, or we shut down the government two days before Christmas as a massive storm wreaks havoc on Americans' holiday travel plans. It's as simple as that. Games like the one House Republicans are playing by using this bill as a political wedge to threaten their counterparts in the Senate is equal parts dangerous and destructive. As Republican Senator Kevin Kramer said, and I quote, the reality is, th is this kind of chest thumping and immaturity doesn't instill confidence in their ability to lead, end quote. You know, you hear it all the time. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. I'll be one of, I'll be one of the first to say that this bill isn't perfect. It doesn't address everything I wanted, nor does it address everything in the way I wanted. But it's a good bill. It was put together through hours of hard-fought negotiations that involved members in both chambers from both sides of the aisle. It's not anyone's fault but their own that House Republicans chose to walk away from the negotiating table. At the end of the day, we are here to legislate, to get stuff done. We are here to help the American people, and that requires us to keep the lights on. The last time Republicans held the majority in the House, they left us in a prolonged government shutdown that cost our country and taxpayers over $11 billion. I can promise you the Democrats have no plan of letting that happen under our watch. We must pass this rule and the underlying bill and get it to the President's desk. Mr. Speaker, I urge a yes vote on the rule and the previous question. I yield back the balance of my time and I move the previous question on the resolution.